for a new indie game that has a unique concept, is relaxing to play, and feels like it could almost be created by Nintendo themselves? If you answered yes, then check out my review of Backworlds, coming up next on Mumble. Hi everyone, welcome to Mumble's Videos Game Reviews, the show where I review games from all across the globe. Guys, today's game review is on Backworlds. But before we get into that, if you have not already, please do subscribe to the channel, ring the little notification bell, and drop a like on the video. Help my channel grow, and we can shoot up those YouTube charts. Woo! Let's do it. Now guys, let's talk about Backworlds. Backworlds is a multi-dimensional puzzle platform game in which you explore by painting, solve environmental conundrums by using each world's physical properties to your advantage, and use your own creativity to craft original solutions to the game's puzzles. At the time of this review, this game is available on Steam and Nintendo Switch for $9.99, and I am reviewing the Nintendo Switch version of this game. Backworlds has nice graphics, nice controls, and a decent soundtrack, and gameplay-wise, it's just a cute idea all, all around. Basically, you paint your way through puzzles. How do you do this? By painting yourself into the foreground or the background of each picture. It's a really cute little idea. Say, for example, in the normal view or in the front ground, you cannot get through an area because there's walls blocking you. But when you paint yourself into the background, guess what? No walls. You can walk right through. This is the kind of things that you will be presented in this game. Now, the point of this game is as you are proceeding through these areas, you're picking up things so that you can open doors to new areas. That's the basic idea of this game. Each area has so many different little globs that you have to pick up. And once you pick up all these, something opens and something special happens, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to spoil anything for anyone, but that is the basic idea of this game. Now, guys, you may think, well, painting is going to get boring, but never fear. Each area has its own special thing about it. So one area might just be normal. There might be really nothing special about it. But the next area, you might be put up onto the ceiling when you paint yourself into the background because it's different. It's that different feel to it. Another area might have something else different. So they did change things up and make things unique in each area to keep the game fun, interesting, and keep you engaged into it. So guys, now we come to the con section. The only con that I have for this game is at times this game can be a little bit on the difficult side. Figuring out how to complete puzzles sometimes can be a bit of a brain strainer, but you kind of do want that in a puzzle game, so I'm not really going to detect the score, but it is a con nonetheless. So guys, now what I have to talk about is what I'm going to give this game on today's Mumbles Review. Guys, Backworlds brings something new to the gaming genre. Something that hasn't really been explored that much. Something that feels fresh and unique and feels like it's made by a AAA company. Guys, I was 100% impressed by this game. Not just impressed, but I super enjoyed playing it. I loved it. I loved the idea behind it. I loved the puzzle feel to it. I love that it didn't go too deep into the puzzles to make you think that you're playing a jigsaw game or something like that, but that it did it in a way that was just fun to play. Literally, I feel like this game could have been made by Nintendo. It's that good. This game gets an 8 out of 10. It's a fantastic little relaxing game. You don't see often that I give an indie game this high of a ranking. So guys, if you have a Nintendo Switch or if you have Steam, check out this game. It's fantastic, and I absolutely 100% loved it and recommend it for all ages. Anyways, guys, this has been my review of Backworlds. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Please smack that subscribe button, smack the like button, and smack all those buttons. Now we'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye, everyone. Take care.